Hey everyone, welcome back to the Arena Productions and another Gaming News Reactions video. Today we're diving into some exciting news about the upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows. This game has been a long time coming and it's finally bringing us to Japan during the Warring States period, uh, better known as the Sengoku period in Japanese, a setting that fans of the series have been asking for for years. But what I want to focus on today is the development cycle of this game and what it means for both the developers and us the players. And uh, just recently there was an article uh, over at gamesindustry.biz where the lead producer discusses uh, four years being the right balance to make an Assassin's Creed game. And I will leave the link in the description below. So Assassin's Creed Shadows, it's been in development for four years. And uh, in this interview, uh, the frame was the right balance to create a game of this scale. Now, I think it's important to point out that four years might actually be on the shorter end for AAA games in today's industry. We've seen other major titles take five or even more years to develop, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. With the increasing complexity and scope of these games, Giving developers the time they need is crucial to, de uh, to delivering a polished and immersive experience. So in the case of Assassin's Creed Shadows, uh, this extended development time isn't just about making a game that's fun to play. It's about crafting a world that feels authentic. Ubisoft has a reputation for paying close attention to historical details, and it seems like they're going all out to make sure the portrayal of feudal Japan is as accurate as possible. This kind of authenticity doesn't happen overnight, and it's something that I think will really pay off when we finally get to explore this era in the game. So, but before we continue, if you're enjoying this, uh, this video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell uh, so that you never miss out on our latest gaming news reactions and all of the other content we drop here on the Arena Productions. And so uh, the lead producer uh, mentioned in the interview that having more time allows for more iteration, which is something you can't just you just can't rush. You can add more people to a project to get it done faster, but that doesn't replace the time needed to test, give feedback, and refine the game. So I completely agree with this approach. The more time developers have to iterate, the better the final product will be. And with Assassin's Creed Shadows, if it means waiting a bit longer to get a game that truly belong, uh, to brings the Warring States period of Japan to life, then I'm all for it. And, you know, I, I have a degree in Japanese history, and so I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, how this game looks. So, to wrap up, I think it's clear that Ubisoft is taking the right approach with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Four years might seem like a long time. But when it comes to delivering a game that not only plays well, but also immerses you in a beautifully crafted historical setting, it's time well spent. So I'm excited to see what they've done with this setting and how the game will perform when it releases this November. So let me know in the comments what you think about the development time and if you're looking forward to exploring Japan in Assassin's Creed Shadows. So anyway, that's uh, been our gaming news reaction video here discussing the development of Assassin's Creed Shadows, and we hope to catch you in the next gaming news reactions video we do. And uh, be sure to check out episode 181 of the Arena Multiplatform Gaming News Podcast, where this last week we went over a preview of Gamescom that's coming up really soon, so we're really excited for that as well. So take care, everyone and have a great week of gaming. Peace.